Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing the part 2 of multiplication of radicals. This time we have special cases. In our previous lesson, we discussed that if we have n root of a times n root of b, that is equal to n root of a times b. We're just going to multiply our radicand. The expression inside our radical, radical sign. So if we have um, square root of 5 times square root of 2, that is simply square root of 5 times 2. And square root of 5 times 2 is 10. What if we have different radicands? or let's say different indices. Let's say we have square root of m times cube root of m. Is it possible that we're going to combine them using multiplication? So reviewing our laws of radicals and rational exponent, we can rewrite this as m raised to one half times m raised to one third. Okay. The rational exponent or the equivalent of square root of m in rational exponent is m raised to one half. And the equivalent of cube root of m in rational exponent is m raised to one-third. Now, following the rules in our laws of exponents, if we have the same base, we're just going to add the exponent. So copy the base, which is m. So we need to add one-half plus one-third. Now, we have m. What is the LCD of 2 and 3? 6. So 6 divided by 2, that is 3, times 1, so we have 3, plus 6 divided by 3, that is 2, times 1, which is 2. Now, 3 plus 2, we have 5 over 6. We can rewrite this into radical form. The equivalent of that is 6 root of m raised to 5. Now we can use these principles to solve a, b, and c. Uh, let us see the special case. So, so we can use the shortcut for that. Let us try letter a. Following these principles. So we have square root of 2 times cube root of 2. First step. We write into rational exponent. So that is 2 raised to 1 half times 2 raised to 1 third. So copy the base, plus of exponent, add the exponent. 1 half plus 1 third. Now, we have 2, LCD is 6, so 6 divided by 2, that is 3, times 1, 3, plus 6 divided by 3, that is 2, times 1, which is 2. So 2, 3 plus 2, 5 over Denominator 6. Now write into radical form. So we have 6, 2 raised to 5. Then 6 root of, we can simplify 2 raised to 5. That is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So that is 31. 
So this will be our final answer. 6 square root of 13. Next, letter B. In letter B, we have different base and different indices. Now let us write into rational exponent. In the form of rational exponent, this is 3 raised to 1 half times 2 raised to 1 third. 3 raised to 1 half times 2 raised to 1 third. Now, reviewing our principle, we have here nth root of a times nth root of b is equal to nth root of ab. So, our goal is to make our rational exponent the same denominator. So, we have We're going to write this. I'll get the LCD. So that will be LCD is 6. So 6. 2 and 3 LCD is 6. So 6 divided by 2. That is 3 times 1. So we have 3 times 2. 6. 6 divided by 3. That is 2 times 1, which is 2. Now, we have the same denominator. We can write this into radical form. Going back to our radical form, this will become 6 root of 3 cubed times 6 root of 2 squared. Notice we, we have the same index now. So we have 6 square root of 6 root 6 root of 3 cube that is 3 times 3 times 3 27 times 6 root of 2 square which is 4 following our principle we have now 6 root of 27 times 4 and for our final answer 27 times 4, 7, 14, 21, 28, carry 2, 4 times 2, 8, 9, 10. So, 108. Our final answer is 6 root of 108. Now, let us try letter C. Square so quantity square root of 2 plus 2 square root of 3 raised to 2. So let us try to use the shortcut in square of binomials. So the shortcut is square the first term. Let me square this. So square root of 2 square. Multiply the first and the second term times 2. So plus, we need to multiply. That is 1 times 2 which is 2, then multiply square root of 2 times 3, which is 6. And of course, we need to multiply by 2. Multiply the first term times the second term. That's when we have 1 times 2, and square root of 2 times 3, which is 6. And don't forget to multiply it by 2. And for our last, we have square root second term, so we have 2 square root of 3 square. Now, we can cancel the square root and square. So we have 2 plus 2 times 2. We have 4 square root of 6 plus 2 square. That is 4 times remove the square root 3. Simplifying, we have 2 plus 4 square root of 6 plus 4 times 3, which is 12. Combine 14 plus 4 square root of 6. This will be our final answer. So this is the part 2 video of our multiplication of radicals. See you in our next lesson, division of radicals.